Now this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of him. Prayer is to be a common practice for all believers in Christ, but we can easily lose sight of its greater purpose because of our own desires and wants. And that greater purpose of prayer is that of communing with God and discerning his will for our life. Because communication with the Lord is so vital, it's wise to step back sometimes and ask yourself these questions. What are my prayers accomplishing in me? Does praying make me feel closer to the Lord, or is it more of a have-to? Next, who am I praying for? Are most of my prayers and requests for myself, or do I pray for others? Third, what am I asking God to do? Have I looked in his word to see what he wants and what his will is for me? Or am I just trying to get him to intervene according to my plans and desires? Lastly, when do I pray? Do I only call on the Lord during emergencies or when I need something? Or is my prayer life a consistent, regular thing? That's a good question that we all need to ask ourselves. If you discovered any selfishness in your answers, you're not alone. Most of us struggle to enter God's presence with our eyes focused solely on Him. Our prayer life can become energizing and potent if we approach the Lord with a clean heart align our requests with his will, and believe he will do what he says. My brothers and sisters, let us consider the greater purpose of our prayer life, and that is communing with God. May God bless and keep you, my friends, in Jesus' holy and precious name. Amen.